Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. Not bad at all, guys. Yeah, I played five cards in two turns. <laughs> Look at that smile. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks, the I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I Hate Your Deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone, it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck. Woo! And we're gonna play more spicy magic yes. with amazing people, yes. amazing decks. Yes. I do wanna see who gets the saltiest first. So there's like a salt award and a spice award. The salt and spice. Nice. Search for Everything salt and nice. spice. The nice. search for salt and spice. <laughs> I just love playing paper magic with my friends. What's up everyone, Vahan here, back to sling some spells. Got a new interesting deck for everybody. Hopefully it'll be fun and I'm excited to play magic with the friends. Everybody, what's up? This is Manny Lynch, thanks for having me again. I brought a, a deck that uh, I'm really interested in. It's from the new set. Uh, it's Enchantress Auras. I'm super pumped, I love auras. Like I love tokens, those are my two things. What's up everyone, my name is Ray. I'm back again, I'm a patron, and I'm back again to try my best to win a game. You gotta um, stay focused. I'm always I trying have the to win. Yeah. <laughs> I had a pep talk with myself in the bathroom. I cried a little bit, get everything out. I'm ready to play. I I'm win special, a game. I'm important. Because Gosh darn it, people like me. This is the redemption arc, right? This is my redemption this arc. This is like the part where you like come back, you yeah, saw like, yourself oh, in the mirror. Oh like, my God, like Ray's so good in magic, oh my God. <laughs> Barry and Larry, yeah, I'm coming yeah, for yeah. you, brother. Come for you, brother. Let's go to the rule zero conversation. Yeah. I would like to play Dalsim, playable pacifist. Stretchy arm from Street Fighter. That's one thing I think I liked about Street Fighter was the fantasy elements, was the fact that you had Dalsim, stretchy arms, Blanca doing the yeah. Go go uh, fire! Go, 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 go. <laughs> so I definitely, when I saw Dalsim and the fact that he also kind of had a hex brute, you know, and like a, un, mm. almost like a pseudo unblockable yeah. vigilance thing, I just thought again, it felt very on flavor for what he does. You know, this deck, I do have some proxies in here. This is a Taxi deck. It needs the game to slow down. Yeah. You know, Drance Magistrate's in there and like Thalia's. Okay with that, I think. You know, things yeah. that just kind of slow the game so we can kind of build our board states and have a fun like mid range game. Yes. And see the stupid big commander yeah. stuff. Hopefully that doesn't make you the target. Yeah. Lynch, I feel like yeah. stack stacks put the uh, the mark on the. Uh, mm -hmm. People oh. don't like that a lot. That's I know. what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun I'm, though, but it yeah. stalls him. So it stalls yeah. him, yeah. And, and so it's like you're gonna see a lot of stupid things. I'm hopefully gonna have have reach or give reach, so that way I can keep like getting unblockable things in there. Uh, so Dalsim the pacifist is a one three legendary creature, human monk. He's got reach, and then he has a teleport ability that says he's got hexproof unless he's attacking. Whenever a creature you control with reach attacks, untap it, and it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power this combat. Fierce punch, whenever one or more creatures you control do combat damage to a player, draw a card. So that's why I was saying there's like a lot of small stuff that kind of does Daniel you know, to be able to get through. All right, I got Vodric Astral Arc Mage. I've been trying to build different archetypes. A spell slinger one, I chose Vodric. He's pretty cool. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as Vodric Astral Arc Mage enters the battlefield. So it's like playing with the day night mechanic. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is Vodric's power. Whenever day Day becomes night or night becomes day, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. So as soon as it comes in, like the day mechanic starts and then, you know, it's obviously my responsibility to keep track of it, even though it's a little annoying. But my major theme is, you know, I'll buff them up and then cast big X spells. Sweet. And you usually have zero proxies in your deck. Usually. Almost always. Definitely always. Doesn't have any mana crypts, no jewel lotus kind of running low to the ground. I'm pumped, the new set uh, had a couple of really spicy cards. Uh, and I think my favorite one is Ariette of the Charmed Apple. But her abilities are awesome. She's a human warlock. Each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can't attack me or a planeswalker that I control. 
and then at the beginning of my end step, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of auras that I control. Everything about this card like embodies what I love about magic. Thematically, she's enchanting other creatures, sweet. I love auras. I think they're really powerful cards that played in the right deck can do some interesting stuff. Well, following your theme of having food, shocker, I'm playing a food deck. So this is Breenard the Ginger Sculptor. It's the Muffin Man. He costs colorless, green, white, blue, human artificer. Each creature I control that's a food or golem gets plus two, plus two, and has trample. I'm gonna say this because this is important for rules. Food is not a creature type. I just checked the rules. So a creature can be a food, but that is not counted as creature type. Golems will get the main buff here, plus two, plus two. Whenever another non-token creature I control dies, I can exile it. And if I do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a one, one food golem artifact creature. In addition to the, its other types, and it has a food text, which is paid to tap it, sack it, gain three life. Game plan in my deck is I'm gonna play a lot of cards that sacrifice themselves to things to try to flip them over and make gingerbread cookies and chuck them at everyone. I love food decks. It's the Muffin Man. If you've seen Sir Ginger, the other, the gingerbread woman, he made her. I hate your deck. Let's roll to see who goes first. Okay. Damn, not me. Not me either. Oh, come on, one time. You got this, Manny. What the oh, shit? Oh, three, oh, one. three ones and a four. Four, one, one, one. Let's get our seven. Take us away, Manny. I think we're all good. All right, Take gentlemen. Let's go on this cruise together. So there you go. The muffin, man. I'm going to start with the snow-covered plains, and then I'll pass. I'll take it. Wizard class. So it's got three levels. It's an enchantment class. The first level is you have no maximum hand size. I can pay two colorless, one blue, and level them up to level two. When this class becomes level two, draw two cards. And then the third level, which is four colorless and a blue. Whenever you draw a card, I put a one-one counter on target creature I control. No but he's for now, he was like a nice one drop that I just yeah. got off the top. <laughs> to. I'll pass the turn after that. Draw for turn. I'll also play a planes. I can do something stupid, like play a jewel lotus. Oh. Oh, I do get to awesome. crack ooh, this ooh. and get wow. Dalsum out, so that I'll crack for three green, mm -hmm. one white. Dalsum's out. He's here to do reachy punchy things. Big pass. pass. <laughs> I'm ready to do one damage to people <laughs> soon. Uh, draw for turn. I will remember you. I'm gonna play windswept teeth. I'm gonna <laughs> type a crack a second, lose a leg. I'm gonna go look for a triumph the band, and then I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and play another snow-covered plains. I'm gonna tap both and play a talisman of hierarchy. Pass the turn. I'll play a uh, shivan reef and pass. <laughs> Untap the one land. Drop a turn. You'll see why this wasn't the best first card to have in the hand, <laughs> Guy's Cradle, because it did, wouldn't have tapped for anything earlier. Yeah. Kind of downplay the Cradle. That's yeah, exactly. I, 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 think so. that's what's I don't happening. know how that works out for you. And we'll go ahead and tap that for one green to put a Finhorn Elves out. Welcome again to IH your deck. One damage. Who are you welcoming? Is it me? Yeah, it's the first blood. Yeah, but no then it untaps, but it untaps because when it attacks, I get to untap it. But then because it does damage, I do get to draw a card. I'm gonna give you the fire because you can be yoga fire. Yoga fire? Yoga, yoga flame? Fire. Oh, okay. One that's commander not, damage. That's not That's a, it, Lynch. GG. This is not a terrible card to draw. I'll tap a planes and I'll cast a Sierra Ascendant. Not bad at all, guys. Yeah. Played five cards in two turns. <laughs> you chill out. Look at that smile. Actually, now, six. Sorry, there's a lotus right there. But you're not doing that. <laughs> it's a struggle right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Struggle it's a struggle right now. If I don't draw land soon, uh -huh. it's going to be a struggle with. Well, I okay. guess, no, you know, I guess this will, will help. Yeah. All right, messenger. Untap. I have nothing else I can do, right? Yeah. Draw. Uh, I'm going to play a planes. Pray I draw a land though for. I hope I you don't draw it. a land for five turns. Oh. Especially if there's a board wipe. If there's a board wipe, I'm in trouble. Because if there's a board wipe, this oh, doesn't have for anything. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna play Steve. I can sack it, go look for basic land, put it in play tapped, and then shuffle my library. Go ahead. All right. Drop a turn. I'll go ahead and tap the, the Talisman of Hierarchy, doing one damage to myself. Tapping it for black. Thank you, sir. Producing two whites here to cast Danitha, the Capuchin Paragon. First strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, or as an equipment spells you cast, cost one less to cast. Faster. All right. Draw. I'll uh, play a Command Tower. Rough Riders. What are you doing? I'm going to use this ability. Oh, okay. up to two. You, you faked this out with the hand. I know. I'll draw two. I'll pass the turn after that. All right, untap, draw for turn. We're all swinging out, right? Like, we're all... Just trying to, yeah, I had yeah. a yeah. cards to get I some miss things. a land drop. Where? I'm, I don't have a land. I didn't see where you missed a land. Uh, <laughs> <touché>. <laughs> How much mana can you tap for on turn three? Yeah, a lot. Well, I think what I should do first is just attack to draw. 
Did you really kill Sean with multiple extra turn spells a lot to make him target you like this? He has a deep <laughs> wound in his heart oh, for man. magic. For I'm gonna be honest. With 20 years of friendship, 30 years of friendship. And so did he, right before we started the game. He said, listen, there's right. one enemy. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, All man? right, so I'll go, I'll go with, I'll go with Vodrick for six, seven. This, though, because has reach, will untap. You're swinging at me for seven? Total, Okay. Yes. I don't have any blocks, obviously. So you'll lose seven, I'll gain six because of lifelink. Then trigger damage, I draw a card. Fucking still not a land. <laughs> I know you guys have so much sympathy for me right now. I'm gonna tap one green. Okay. Planes, three, five, and I'm gonna cast Elder Gargaroth. Oh, wow. Vigilance, reach, trample. If it attacks or blocks, I get to create a three, three beast or gain three life or draw a card. Dude, Dalson's bringing the homes. And then I pass. Still, I still feel sad that I miss a land drop. I know that you guys can relate to that feeling, even if you're not, you're happy that I'm missing it. Nope. I'm gonna <laughs> play him. Draw a card. I didn't hit either one of you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know who should feel really bad is Sean though. Yeah. Because Sean planted the Sean. seed. Remember when he used some extra turns to win games? Oh. Did that happen too? I forget. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. true. Sean, I feel like you lost that game. <laughs> Sean's on a streak right now. He had a lose streak, but he's definitely on a good hot streak right now. I feel like Sean expropriated it. I'll play Bountiful Promenade. It comes in untapped because I have two more friends. Do you feel Bountiful? Sometimes. I'm going to pay two for Sylvan Library. Get my draw step. I may draw two additional cards. If I do, choose two cards in your hand. Draw on this way for each of those cards. Pay four life and put the card on top of my library. You didn't pop Sakura? No. Blocker, yeah. Blocker, yeah. Right? yeah. I, I, he can block Dalsum, so I wouldn't get the card drawn. Yeah. So library's out? Library's out. You got your library card? Shit. <laughs> you passing? Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna play another snow-covered planes. Of all the basics, match. I will play a Starfield Mystic. Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast, and whenever an enchantment I control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, I put a plus one counter on the Starfield Mystic. So I have two enchantment reduction. Tap. The Talisman of Hierarchy for one black, and I'm gonna play the Ghoulish Impetus on your big guy right here, Lynch. I'm gonna enchant the- Gargaroth Yeah, I'm gonna beast. enchant the Gargaroth Beast. So it gets plus one, plus one, has death touch, and it's goaded. And then oh. when the enchanted creature dies, I get Ghoulish Impetus back to the battlefield at the beginning of my next step. So now when I hit one of you, you blame Manny, right? Not the guy no, who- No, 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 it's No, no, it's still your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Another snow-covered plains producing a white, and I'm gonna play the Face of Divinity. So enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as another ore is attached to the enchanted creature, it has first strike and lifelink. I don't have another ore, but Danitha is ready to attack. How big is uh... No, no, it's the Gargaroth. Oh yeah, you have the Gargaroth. With he also touch. gets a trigger when he blocks. Ray, you wanna <laughs> sack that Sakura? It's very no, no, yeah. Go on. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the, the party. I need the four life, I my hear friend. everyone's having fun. Uh, <laughs> It has Vigilance and, life and Lifelink, so I'll gain four. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. The scars are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Pay four and, and bring out a blocker here. Zafai, Thunder Conductor. He's a 1-4 Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, scry one. If that spell's mana value is five or greater, create a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. If that spell's mana value is 10 or greater, it does 10 damage to an opponent chosen at random. Right now, it is a 1-4. So I'll pass the turn after that. I'm gonna hold priority on your end step. On your end step, I'm gonna tap one blue, Pongify, Elder Gargaroth. Ooh. So that would fall off, yeah? Well, he'll get the he'll go back. back. Beginning of the next, next end, step. end step. So that'll be on his end step, because he did it at my end step. Yes. It's an exile, and then it'll come back. I shall place it on Dulcin. Ghoulish Impetus goes to your graveyard, but Ghoulish beginning Impetus. the next end step, at my end step, is gonna come on your battlefield. Yes, and I'll choose a new target for it, choosing Dulcin. Well, yeah, but that's not happening now. No, it's not happening. Yeah. You get a 3-3 a three, three green ape. Okay, I'll just use a dice. My turn, untap, draw for turn. <sighs> oh, this actually got a counter. Whenever an enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter. All right, well, I'll definitely come at you with Dulcin for one. 
I'm gonna tap all three of these. Frick yeah. I'll do the Ascendant at you, Dalsam at you, and then the Beast at you. I'll give you a break. How big is the uh, Ascendant? Six, six, six. six. Flyer. Flyer. Lifelink. And Dalsam flies too? And then Dalsam doesn't fly. He's reach but unblockable unless you have a creature that has power. I will take my three. I will take my seven. Boom. All right. I'll gain six. I'm really gonna kill all of you with commander damage. You just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose that way, I... combat damage trigger. Draw a card to, to Dulcim's ability. No lands. No. Good. <laughs> all right, I'll tap this for four. I'm gonna cast Worldly Tutor. I believe that only costs one. I have three floating. Yeah, I guess you know. Instead, I'll just get Shalai voice upon me. Given all his shit hexproof, that's not good for you. It's not good. It's not good for me. This will go on top, all right. as you all know, because Worldly Tutor. Yep. Right you got three green floating. I'm going to use the three green to cast Growing Rites of Itlamok. Growing Rites of Itlamok. And so, but if you look at the top four cards of your library, you may reveal a creature card, put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom. So I'll draw it now. Nice. One, two, three. Oh, there's a Cavern of Souls. Instead of Elish Nord. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly skip the Elish Norn. I think I'm gonna go from protection because I don't want to get pregnant with you guys. You can't even cast the other one because it's too white. See, another good reason yeah. to bottom not the, it. Not that it because it costs seven, but because it's too white. Yes. Yeah. So then now that this is in my hand, you guys all know, but I only have two. Pass the turn, but then at the beginning of the end step, if you control four more creatures, transform Goring Rites of Illumok. So, so oh cool. my god, another guy's cradle be on shit! Woo! That's bad. Cradle the sun! Yeah, oh, I have to Lynch, my little friend, will come back. I'm gonna target the Sarah Ascendant. Ascendant. Why? I don't face, wanna get hit yeah. for six, man. I also wanna get hit for seven. What the fuck? Well, let's kill him. Let's, nope. let's kill the. Uh... Frick yeah, dude. My turn? Because that was end step. That was end step, yeah. I I'm was... gonna untap, upkeep. All right, right. Draw, I'm gonna draw the two additional cards of Silver Library. Cause I'm gonna get just the one and put these back. Cause I was afraid of a ghost actually. I'm a liar. I will play Overgrown Farmland. Comes in untapped cause I have two more other lands. Then I will pay for some combination of green, white, blue and play Bernard Ginger Sculptor. Shit my turn, as the kids say. All right. Untap, draw for turn. I'll play a Swamp. I'm gonna tap these two, producing two white. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Songbird's Blessing. So enchant creature. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, I'll reveal cards from the top of my library until you reveal an aura card. You may put that card onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any random order. Two white with a reduction. That's gonna go on Danitha. I think I'm gonna cast my commander. I'm gonna tap these three. Colorless white and black. We'll go ahead and play Ariette of the Charmed Apple. She comes in and I'm gonna move to combat. So Face of Divinity is active. So the creature now has first strike and life. Claire attackers. Someone's at 52. <sighs> Clinch. I think it's time. We gotta bring you back. Four first strike, that's life it? link. Four first strike, life link. Vigilance. Damn, he said that's it? Yeah, that's it. But. No, no other special things? I have an attack trigger. So on attack trigger, I'm gonna reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal an aura card. And I can put that aura card onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it, I'll put it in my hand and the rest go into the brain. Or under to the bottom of my deck. So. Put that aura. Nope. 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 I love this game. Nope. I know. I'm very nervous. Nope. 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 Here it is. Really? This is the good one. Oh, why was it? <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, flip the other way. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. Enchanted creature gets, <laughs> pl gets plus two, plus two, has intimidate, and can attack you or a planeswalker that you control. I'm going to go ahead and. Give it to my guy. Oh, yeah. I will give it to your guy. Yeah. There you right. go. Thanks, dude. No problem. Yeah, and these will all go at the bottom. Danitha does have Vigilance and Lifelink, so Lynch, I'm gonna gain four. I'll lose four. So 39. 48. And then I will move to my end step, and at the beginning of my end step, Ariette is going to do one, two, three, four damage to everybody, and I'm gonna gain four life. Nice commander. It's from her Wait. second ability. So Wait. at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses X life, Wait. and you gain X life. For X is the number of auras that okay, I can Okay, go to 44. I will go to 43. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, untap. We slowly have to chip away at you, Lynch. I'll play Mountain. You have the same life total as me. Shh. <laughs> you, you're not doing terrible right now. No, 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 no. I'll pass the turn. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna tap a Plains and the Fendor Nose, and I'm gonna pass a, pass. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a Carther Commando at flash speed. What's that do? See if you want to counter that or not, because you got a lot of stuff open. Ah, so. I get to pay one, sack it, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. 
Let's take it's it good. easy. Because you have a lot of enchantments. Let's take it's so it easy. funny. I know a guy with a lot of enchantments. <laughs> we both do. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name, Manny? Yeah, Manny's, Manny's, uh, Manny's going to be under the gun. Now I'll resolve because re resolution goes around. Yeah, yeah, goes around. Yeah. Okay, so I'll untap. And I'll draw for turn to go to my turn. He has so much man there. Oh. Fuck, man. No. This guy's good. Tapping for five because the growing lights it log. Six, seven. So I have seven floating, man. Six green, one white. And then I'll do what you guys all know is coming. I'll cast Shalai, Voice of the Plenty. It says Flying Angel 3 4, you, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. Oof. Put a plus one counter on each creature you control if I pay for generic and two green. Do you guys have a response? Yikes. No. I have no response. Do you? Lynch. Oh, yeah. I have a response. Yes. Yes. Let the boot code be our the hero. Thing. Oh, five? Oh, hands oh. up. Oh, I'll tap five. Be our hero. We're doing a five man. I'm going to cast the spell. <laughs> Which one? Named Desertion. Oh. It's actually Desertion. I'm gonna cast the spell. <laughs> Counter target spell. If it is artifact or oh. creature spell this way, put that card in the battlefield under your control instead of its owner's grave. You're getting it? Oh. That was kinda hot. Moreover, yeah. da, I, get da, da. I get a trigger here and because it's five or greater, I get a four four elemental. That was kinda hot. Oh, and the scry, yeah, yeah. Shots fired. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Friends. How's the sneaky bottom? Imagine easy someone. Five. How the turntables? I was not turned. expecting desertion. <laughs> well, I mean, I just needed some blockers and stuff. So I'm at the lowest life. I have three green floating still because I spent seven. Yeah. And I only used needed four for the thing that got stolen. I have to say, it's not that often you see a five cost counter. It's like the most expensive yeah. counter I've cast. I have eight available mana. Exactly eight, huh? I'm going to just go ahead and tap for five, <laughs> use these three. Eight? And I'm gonna cast Kamal, Heart of Krosa. Oh, I knew I should have waited. Human Druid, at the beginning of combat in your turn, creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample wow. until end of turn. He's a five, five. Okay. So I will now go to combat. So I got a nine, nine flyer. <laughs> no, they just all have three, three trample. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, I'm just gonna swing. Um, what up, you guys? This is a 5-5 five, five and a 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna do six at you, nine in the air at you. It's six, seven, Four. eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, actually. So now I'll do ten here to just get you dangerous, and then I'll do six at you this way. <laughs> Why didn't you cast this one first, man, before you cast Because this? I was gonna let you, I was gonna let you steal the thing I didn't want as much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, I thought you were just gonna counter it. I didn't know you were gonna steal it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have no blocks. I'll take six. Just do it. I gain ten. Whenever one or more creatures you control the comic, draw a card. So I had it. I, I will draw a card. I will play a land. Oh. Oh. Dude, so hype right now. <laughs> so hype. Let me see your enchantments again. What are those? These are not the enchantments you're looking for. <laughs> but I will go ahead and, and pass because I can do that at instant speed. On your end step, I'm gonna sack Steve to go look for basic land. When Steve dies, Bernard's gonna see it. He's gonna come back exiled as a food golem. This will be, he's exiled. This is now a 1-1 one, one golem, food golem, and it gets plus two, plus two because of Bernard. So this is a 3-3 three, three golem that's been exiled once. He doesn't have like Sakura's ability, right? Yeah, he does. Just, he does? Yeah. So it's a copy of the card, except yep. it's a golem, got it. Yeah, and it has the food flavor. Now we know why he didn't sack yeah, Steve yeah, for, for sure. No. I didn't know it comes back with the ability. That's I'm gonna go awesome. get an island. Is that why I think he was saying he, he sees the golems as the gingerbreads? Yeah. It's the oh, gingerbread. It's funny, it says food golem, but food is not a creature I type. I know, freaking, that's, that's scandal. Wizards, man. They didn't even make a food golem token for me to use. So I sacked Steve, got a land, got an island. He comes back as a, it's a one one, but he's getting a plus two, plus two buff. So that's why it says three right here, because he's a food or a golem. Um, and he still keeps Steve's ability. So if I should so choose, I can just- Sack him and- Sack him again. It's only non-tokens that come back like that. So it'll just be, the last time. So it's a to that's a token tank. It's a token. That's what it's good. Yeah, big old die. I want to, yeah. Awesome. All right, that was on your end step. So untap, upkeep, draw, silver library. I'm going to pick up two. I'll take four. I, now I'm not afraid of any guests. I will pay white. Pay white. I'm going to attempt to cast Vanquish the Horde. It costs one less for it to cast for each creature on the battlefield, and then it says destroy all creatures. Oh. That'll do it. Now, 
Are you holding priority and doing anything? Yes, I am. So okay. holding. So you got to do it first. Yeah, I'm holding priority. I'm going to sack Steve again before it gets exiled and go get me a basic land. The Horde for the Horde. Vanquish the Horde. Oh, oh I think. Blast from his Horde. You should blow up an enchantment. I'll pay one white in response. I'll sack the Carther Commando. So I will go ahead and I'll blow up the Sylvan. Seems fair, seems legit. Okay. So that was all? Everything, all creatures die. All okay. creatures die. So Vingus to Horde. I'm still looking for my land from. Thanks. Now I have two lands. Then after Vingus to Horde clears the field, I'm gonna pay three and I will play Rosie Cotton of South Lane. On ETB, make a food token. I forgot my Shut up. I know, the one thing I do on God's <laughs> Green Earth. Thank you. When I make a food token, put a plus one plus encounter on a target creature I control other than Rosie. And I don't got one. So I just make the food. Pass the turn to you. At the beginning of end step, uh, the ghoulish impetus is gonna come back and it'll go on Rosie. Frick yeah, dude. I will untap, draw. I'll play the wreck tower. Go ahead and tap five to recast my commander. There we go, the charmed apple. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually let me tap this way. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, untap, draw, play an island. I'll tap three. I will also cast my commander. Yeah. So when it comes in, it becomes day. But every time it changes, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And what makes it in change? In order to change, it's to go to night, person has to not cast any spells. Mm -hmm. Then on the following turns, it becomes night. If it's night, to change into day, somebody has to play two spells. Then the following turn, it'll become day. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as Vodrick enters the battlefield. So now it is daytime. So I'll untap and I'll draw. Uh, I drew a Yamaya Hollow. Yamaya Hollow. Hollow. <laughs> Hollow. Hollow. So I guess I'll just tap four. And I'll cast Audric, Lunark Marshal. At the beginning of each combat, creatures you control gain first strike. So on a turn, if a creature controls first strike, the same is true for flying, death touch, double strike, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, sulk, trample, and vigilance. And he's 3 3 human soldier. I now can tap for one green if I would like to, but instead I'm gonna choose two pass. Untap, I'll draw for turn. Play a forest. I'll play a forest. Pay three. For Peregrine Took, if one or more tokens will be created under my control, those tokens plus an additional food token are created instead. I can sack three foods and draw a card. I'll then play four. Knight of the Sweet's Revenge. When it ETBs, I make a food token, but dink, Took sees it, I make another food token, but dink, I made two tokens, I'm gonna put two plus and plus encounters or something that's not Rosie Cotton, but dink, but dink. This says, foods I control have tap, add a green mana, and I can pay five green green, sack it. Creatures I control get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of foods I control, activate only as a sorcery. Then go to combat. Swing at Lynch for two. Death touch. Two? Yeah. Cool. Then I will tap two of my foods to cast Nature's Lore. I'll go look for a forest, put it in the card on the battlefield, then shuffle. And then I'm gonna go look for it, but I'll pass it to you while I'm doing it. Tap the food? Yeah, this to make some tap to add green. Oh, sick. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tap four, play Angelic Destiny. Enchant creature gets plus four, plus four, has flying first strike, and is an angel in addition to its other types. When the enchanted creature dies, I return Angelic Destiny to my hand. It's a oh. hell of a card. Yeah, it's a good one. Oldie bit of goodie. I'm gonna go ahead and clear attackers. What are life totals? 14, 52. 52. Lynch, you're making this easy. All right, here, I'm sorry, man. Here we go, I'm gonna swing in for six on you in the air. I'll in the take earth. six. Okay. I'm gonna move to my end step. I have one enchantment, uh, one aura on board, so everybody takes one life, and I will gain one. And I'll I got you, Ray. Thank you. Call Pass Ray. the turn. I don't like that look, dude. You like it. I'll draw. I'll play mountain. How big is this guy? He's a four or five. So we're all still going after Lynch, right? Is yeah, that what's yeah, happening? Yeah. Until he gets to like a regular people life total, probably. Let's yeah. say until he gets to my life total. Is that fair? Fuck yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he brought me to 13. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta leave. How'd that work out for you last time? <laughs> it looks like you want to do the spell. Nope. Pass turn. Oh. Trigger. <laughs> yeah, so on your turn, it's on your turn. Okay, so untap. Your turn, it becomes night. Upkeep draw. This guy gets a Juan Juan. A <laughs> Juan Juan. Okay. I'm gonna tap the Yamamaya Hollow for a colorless. 
to cast Stone Cold Serpent for one. Whoa. It's the weakest Stone Cold Serpent I think I've ever done besides Steve Cool and Austin 316. <laughs> <laughs> Trample production for Multicolored. Cheers to you, Kentucky. Stone Cold Serpent enters the battlefield with X plus one counters, which is one, but it has reach, trample, and protection for multicolor. Some of that stuff will Audric will will uh, get uh, when I declare combat. I now have enough to cast my commander. So two, four, six, recast Dalsim, cool. my commander, the pliable pacifist. These both though have summoning sickness. I will then go to combat. Audric have reach. Is reach one of the ones listed? Flying, death touch, double strike, haste, hexproof, indestructible. No, I guess Life not. Link? Yeah, right here. Oh, there, there is, is reach. reach. Oh, I thought and I thought... you made me question everything. Oh. Right I was like, damn, he's wrong. <laughs> and I get trampled. So just reach and trample is the only Where's keywords. The... But they're summoning sick. So I got reach, trample, okay, that's it. You're a, how big is your guy? Uh, he's a, my guy or his guy? Your, yours? My guy's a two, three, but I would yours strongly is recommend. Yours is yeah, mine's just tap. I'll hit Manny, because I have reach and trample, and it's the only one, because because you're going to put stuff on my shit, that uh, so I won't even be able to, I won't be able to hit you soon. Anyways, I'm sure. That's what you keep doing to everybody. I'm going to go hit you, Manny, for three reach trample. Just three. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, I'm coming at you for three. Three. I'll take <laughs> there three. There we go. Bam. Five, trample two, reach, but it untaps, because it had reach. Got it. Okay. And I draw a card, because I did damage. Okay. But it doesn't have life link. All right, I'll ship the turn to you. Perfect. Raymond, no, Ray. Ray, don't call me Ray. Just fucking Ray. Untap. Okay. No cool Sylvan Library. These are now untapped. I didn't get anything new. They're just untapped now. You cast two spells. This will switch to day, and this will get a counter. All right, I will draw for turn. I will play an island for turn. So it triggers on his upkeep, so you did it right in the right spot. Nice, dude. It's at the beginning of the next yeah. turn. You hit it, dude. How big is this guy? Your He's a uh, three, four. Okay. I'm Maybe gonna... Keep it chill. We're chill. Just doing some math. Three, tap three foods for three mana, thanks to the Night what, of the Sweet. What are your colors? Not black, okay, I was like, no toxic delusion. Nope, just... Oh, you've already board white ones. You might have more. I'm gonna pay three. <laughs> <laughs> for three green mana, and then I'll tap a forest for one more green mana, and I'm gonna play Parallel Lives. Ooh, An nice. effect would put one or more nice. tokens on battlefield under my control, put twice that many instead. Are you top decking? Oh, yeah, I'm useless. I'll move to combat. I'm gonna swing. I like. Poor combat. I'll have one, two, three, six. Yeah, Ray has no cards in hand, but he's got a pretty healthy board. He's got abilities and stuff. Yeah. He is the food king. Yeah. Always. If there's one thing, Raymond, don't call me Ray. <laughs> <laughs> we will be known in the magic history books. <laughs> Was for the food chef master. That's me. I'll pay six to recast my commander. So I'll recast Brienard. In response. Congratulations. Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> I, just, I just puckered up right there. I'm so scared. Okay. I'll move to combat. You're in combat. Clearing attackers, I will throw Paragon took your way Lynch 4-5, and I will swing Rosie Cotton your way. She's a 2-2 two -two death touch. Are there any triggers that are happening? No, not on attack. Damage triggers? Nope. Okay. Yeah. And I am taking four. Uh, swing a two for four. I One, thought you said we two, were chill. Three, we are. Just block that it. doesn't seem chill to me. Uh -huh. He said that's not chill. Just block it. It's cool. You have enough mana to recap. Is it cool though? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You're not gonna block? Uh, well, it wasn't cool that you attacked, but I got convinced it's cool. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Let's see if we can do large things this turn. The largest thing that I will do this turn is to cast a Transcendent Envoy. Flying all aura spells that you cast costs one less to cast. Pum, 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 pum. I'm sensing a theme. Yeah. Is your deck uh, about auras? I think so. What? I like auras. What? You know aura? Okay, and I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing. 41. 41, huh? All right, I think I'll stick with the theme. Lynch, I hate your deck. How big? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Sample, uh, 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 I hate yeah, your deck. <laughs> Six? Six. Six in the air, flying for a strike. I'll yeah. take six. And the best commander damage, yep. that, right? Commander. And that's the first time I got hit that one or the second time? Second time. So I'm at 12? 12. After that, I'll go ahead and ship it. Are you looking hard at mine? Uh, well, We're you, friends. You see what's happening. You can't say that, but swing. It was a 2-2. Two -two. I didn't swing the 4-5. He already knows the real magic. He knows all three Which of us are threats. Vaughn has threat assessment. He understands he's killing three people, not one. 
I'll cast <laughs> Flame of Honor. Choose one. If you control the wizard as you cast this spell, you may choose two instead. So I pay two because he's got a reduction for the one. Target player draws two cards, destroy target artifact, or Flame of Honor does five damage to target creature. So I'm gonna choose the draw cards, and I'll probably do the five. I'll probably have to do it on your... Took? I don't know. Which one's better, your commander? I well, this one's making just, me double food. You can recast the commander, so I'll probably hit your guy. Yeah, for five, makes sense. So this guy? Yeah. You can respond if you want. Do you have a response? I mean, those are my targets. Yeah. I don't have a response. I will let that happen, so that's cool. So okay. results. So, so draw a card, two. this dies, comes back. There you go. Then exiled, it's now a, a food goat room. It's a one, one, it's getting plus two, plus two. That's why it says three. Cool? Oh yeah, it comes back as a goal. Token comes into play, Rosy Cotton triggers. I'm gonna put a plus one plus encounter something that's not Rosy Cotton. I'm gonna put one there. Just kidding, this triggered happened, so I'm gonna get double instead. So it's gonna it's get- Bam, it got bigger. Two, two counters and I get two Paragon Tooks. Parallel Lives is not counters. But I'm gonna get two tokens. So I get two counters. Oh, okay. So yeah, you'll yeah, get two yeah. counters. I thought you were doubling the counters. No, no, no. You're no. gonna get two Golem tokens. Yeah, so this is the other one. So this is also Peregrine Took. They multiply. Things escalated quickly. I don't have another response. One they'll both give your guy out. Okay. Yeah, they, but I only keep one Took. They're, they're both the same thing and they're legendary? Yep. Yeah, then. Yeah. Right. Two come in, I get two plus one plus encounters. The legend rule happens, one dies. And you chose this one to stay alive. <laughs> that was at the end of your turn. Is there anything else going on? EOT? No. All right. Did you cast the spell? You did, right? I did. I casted uh, one spell. The day is still chilling. So this has a three. Okay, so I'll pay one red and I'll cast Seething Anger with buyback. So it's three buyback. I have the reduction, so I pay one red. Target creature gets plus three plus O oh until end of turn. Plus three. So far. I'll tap, I'll tap it for to do it again. So now it has six. The power that's getting buffed on this. Oh, okay. What's the buyback cost? Three. But it's reduced because of initially from Vodrick. Now Vodrick is six, is nine. It's only on the front, so it's just a nine three. Yes. But now you can do it again. Well, I, I did it again, yeah. So I give it six. Okay. Big the buybacks are, work well with Vodrick because mm -hmm. if, if it's strong enough, I can yeah, yeah. get the yeah, pay yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Little tech. Two, three, four, five, huh? Five. So I'll pay two blue. And then, so this is nine reduction. This makes it. 10. I'll cast Finale of Revelation. Draw X cards. If X is 10 or more, instead shuffle your graveyard into your library, draw X cards, untap up to five lands, and you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Exile Finale. <whistles> All right, so does this resolve first and foremost? No, I'm, I'm good. Resolves here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this will get XL. I will shuffle my graveyard into my library. You could have killed him. And then draw 10. Could he have? He could have swung at him. I could have swung at him. <laughs> Can we get a 10? Yeah. Can't you just keep buybacking and like buff him forever and then- No, save? because I have to pay one red no matter what. It, it's like colorless. I don't have infinite five, yeah, yeah, He has to pay for the spell, but the buyback's so it's free. 10. I was like, just fucking one shot someone. <laughs> okay, so I'll draw 10 and I'll untap five. five. That seemed pretty good. Yeah. Do so you untap two with that card? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I think I tuned out after I just like you were dude. I'm not saying that not. I was just saying, you know, I just, <laughs> just saying I was like, scared. oh, he's gonna draw fucking a shield of cards and <laughs> shuffle his, his library back in. Spell okay. slingers being spell so, slingers. So I can probably win the game at this point. Because I just drew the ten cards. I, it's actually only one card. That what are you doing? What are you doing? Do should it? I do that or should I continue and play some other thing? At all? I was thinking close it, close the game. Yeah, I think it's yeah. time. So I'll uh, pay one blue, and I'll cast Solve the Equation. He gets this, yeah, I'll cast get Solve the Equation. Search sorcery. your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal it, put it into your hand. So the one I'm gonna get. Yeah, what are you getting? What's the win? Is, uh, I mean, there's a few different ones. Fuck. Yeah. It's the fact that it's so big. Yes. <laughs> I want to make a joke it there. No one has she like says. or something. Does but anyone I... have a way of giving me mana? <sighs> I can't even give oh, you Giving me yeah. mana, I you, like that. Do you have a food? Never mind, I don't. Nope. I have removal, I just need two mana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll get a searing touch. Ugh. Did anybody have sacking blues to Peregrine Took and fucking... I can draw a card, card, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you to get a response. I, I can hope for... The most can't, we can't let him, we, we gotta, yeah, we gotta I'm, give I'm him trying. resistance. 
I'm gonna try it, but I have to. Matthew I'm, Barney's Cram Master Cycle is all about how <laughs> you need resistance. But that goes to your hand, right? So this goes in my hand. I'm gonna pay. So I have mad reduction. Okay, so mad. I need mad reduction, dude. I'll tap three and That's I'll cast the uh, Bergy. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna respond to Bergy. Go ahead. So on the stack. I'm gonna use Took's ability to sack three foods. You're responding to the cast. On cast. Yes. Okay. You, 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 if it lands, you can't respond. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I'm trying. I got one shot. So I'm gonna sack three foods to Paragon Took to draw a card. Wow. <sighs> one time for the one time. Come on. Get happy. Swords pleasure. Yeah. Path exile. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um. No, it, it doesn't do anything. No. Okay, resolves. so then it resolves, very simple. Shit. I'll cast Searing Touch, free buyback. Sorry. Searing Touch deals one damage to target creature or player. And I'll do one back. damage to you. I get a buyback, I have a red floating. And that's now the loop. I'll use the red, mm -hmm. I'll cast the Searing Touch. Buyback's free, I'll create it through. Do we have it? Do we, we have any response Yeah, yeah. I think he has it, friends. Spell Slingers. Winds of Abandonment is what I should have done. Could have exiled his commander, and we would, at least would have had a couple yeah. more turns. I would have had to do it on my turn, which is like, yeah, that was the greed. All right, well, I think he has it. I think Good so. Good game. Bravo. Good game. We got Very it from the nice. loop. So the Bergy getting cast with your being able to buy back for free is definitely what I was able to nail this coming. Yeah, man, Searing Touch. Searing Touch is what did it. Well, well you got a card. combo like this. Oh, so those it's are, a three those, card combo. Those are pretty, and those are pretty, you know, to get Bergy out with Vedric. Vodrick has Vodrick. to have at least four, yeah. and then have Bergy out, cast Searing Touch, have all that resolved. It's not bad. It's the first time I've seen this deck. I don't even yeah. know if I had a free counter spell, but I was, I was praying. I think I have it packed in here. Yeah, I just said the wins with that. Yeah. Now, would have, this is yeah. another win con right here. Which one? Crackle power? Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. So what a hit. I could have gotten that one, but I thought this was a little bit more interesting. Oh, but yeah, there's I multiple, like, uh, just so everybody Bergy. else can yeah. know. Bergy's Crackle good. with power is 3x and 2 red. It deals five That's times sick. X damage to each of up to nine targets. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Stick it down to zero. This is not a bad card for copying, but there's better. To the you know, that was a fun game. I should have been swinging on him. We let us feel bad for a sec that I was beating up on him. Yeah. We should have, we should have. true. The, somewhere the force ghost Sean is now looking at us and saying, you forgot to take your foot, you know, you <laughs> took your foot off the gas. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I feel like if he didn't up. board wipe, you would have killed everybody with yeah. your plus three, plus three trample. That was a hot yeah. board wipe. Then it just I took think. me time to build up a three card yeah. combo. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's not, I mean, you, feel, you can get do that with there. any deck, you know? Oh, for sure. No, you, 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 you earned it for sure. Yeah. All right, well, good game, friends. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Damn, we didn't win again. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, We dude. have to bring you up Ray. again. We got to get you in there. Dude, I... But you still always have... Th is he not always a threat still? His board state was very threatful. Yeah. You always have threatening board <laughs> threatening. states. Threatful. I think it's just for some <laughs> reason, it's like... You, you're similar to what happened to me in that episode where I played the Heads or Tails game where I just kept losing every flip. It felt, it feels bad. I, I got to do the thing. I got to make a couple tokens, but blue, blue, red does the thing, man. He plays a couple 10 cent cards and all of a sudden we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Those cards are straight up like 10, 15, 20. I'm telling yeah. you, that What's deck is- What's the budget of that deck? Um, I have, I, I put in like Fierce Guardianship yeah. packed. But I just recently put that when I first bought it, it was about maybe two two twenty. That's cheap. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Well, I just saved a bunch of points on my credit card every about, about six months. And then I'll like spend them. I uh, seriously I, I, that's that's what I did. And you blow it on a deck. I love it. Yeah, that's easy, hilarious. you know, that way it's kind of justified, but still, you know. So what was it like to come back, Manny? Ah, oh, Lynch, it's always a pleasure playing with you guys and uh, being back here. I got to do some fun stuff. I think my favorite part though is seeing what other decks are doing. You know, I get to see some really cool tech and I get to experience it. It was a blast, man. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, I mean, that's why, a big reason why I made this show too. You know, I mean, I, a, lot of, a lot of reasons I made this show, but a big, you know, to show people how fun it is to play with friends and to see really cool tech and interesting interactions. And like, that's another dream of the show is that like, you know, eventually to have like any kind of cool combo or interaction that, you know, you have, we have that represented. Yeah. So yeah. I'm glad I got to see uh, how dangerous the kill on sight that commander can be. 
Because some commanders really are killing on site. Yeah. Some of them are, I agree. I don't know yeah. about on site though, but yeah, so. when it gets beefed up, it can do, it can get me a lot of reduction. But you were able to beef it up fast. <laughs> yeah. Once you got there, you got there. Yeah. There's, there's a couple you. levels, dude. Once you set up a level, then the buybacks are free. Yeah, that's they, not, not They're great. not free, they're just, you know, reduced. And yeah. then you can get a couple of those, then you yeah. get to the top tier, yeah. where you got 10 yeah. reduction for like a big 10 drop spell. Cap I mean, size, is that in there too? No, dude, it's too blue. Uh -huh. So it's a little too much. The only other one that I have in there is reiterate. Mm. Too oh, red, but that one like gives a lot of value. Yeah. Right. But it you know, shows like, you like, you know, when I came out hard and fast out of the gate, the fact that yeah. I only had those two lands though, like the fact that I had like, what, like I missed like the first three or four land drops. Yeah. If I had just had that, for example, I would have had the, the uh, wind card. If he yeah. didn't pongify you know. the elder, <laughs> I would have gotten out of control so quick. Oh, 100%. Hard yeah. draw, making 100%. three threes. Yeah. But then, yeah, then, then then me getting neutered by losing everything and then losing all of the, the getting ahead with the, the, the cradle, you know, like, it allowed, you know, allowed me not to have any interaction help on that. But that's part of what happens when you keep a greedy hand that has a guy's <laughs> cradle of planes and Joe Lotus. Yeah. You're like, yeah. well, I can yes. get my commander out. And yes. if I get my commander yes. out, I can then tap for green. And then I can then do the, yes. the Fairhaven uh, or Lin Fin or Elf or whatever I had. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, it's, but it's, you know, it's funny how you layer that stuff. Yeah. yeah and Ray, you policed today. I was just, I'm just here to police. You were, you were policing. I said, whoa, 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 too many creatures. Yeah. Eating donuts and gingerbread men and policing. Damn it. Yeah, exactly. And Manny, Manny was like, just don't attack me. Here you go. I'll yeah, make it a little yeah, bigger, yeah, give yeah. it some death yeah, yeah. touch. Don't look over here. I was gonna like, yeah, you're like, hey, we're friends. Every other Friday, check out <laughs> I Hate Your Deck. And if you're still watching, hey, join our Patreon. Have fun. We can chat it up in the Discord. Peace. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. I Hate Your Deck would like to thank our sponsor, No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. Hey, it's time for the random Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to thank Zachary Blowers, Jesse Negron Garcia, and Eric Wade. Thanks, guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now, we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today, and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, I hate your deck. Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community. I Hate Your Deck.